Hi everyone, Shridhi here from TGT and welcome to another video. An Apple ID is an essential thing to have if you are using an iPhone. Without it, you cannot download any free or paid apps from the App Store. Creating an Apple ID is free but requires sharing your credit or debit card or UPI payment details for any future usage. But not everyone has a credit or debit card or may not be comfortable sharing the details with Apple. In this video, I will be showing you how to create an Apple ID without credit cards. I will also show you a way out to download free and even the paid apps without credit cards as well. Now for the record, this iPhone XR is running the latest beta of iOS 15.2 as you can see here. Let's get out of here and here you can see it says sign into your iPhone because we are not signed in to this iPhone using any Apple ID. You can create your Apple ID right from here but creating the ID directly from here will require the details that is the payment details we are trying to bypass. Let's get out of here and scroll down and tap on the mail option. Here you can see accounts. Tap on the accounts and it shows Gmail, Yahoo and add account option. Here you can see we have options to adding our iCloud account, Microsoft Exchange, Google, Yahoo, AOL or Outlook.com account. We'll be creating an iCloud account here. So tap on iCloud. It says sign in with your Apple ID to use iCloud and other Apple services and it is asking for your apple id so we will tap don't have an apple id or forget it option and as you can see we have uh, two different options create apple id or forgot apple id so we will tap on create apple id and it will take some time and now it is asking for your name and date of birth put your first name then your last name and then your date of birth here then tap next and it says would you like to use your phone number or an email address to create an Apple ID? You can use your existing phone number to create an Apple ID or use an email address to do so. We will be creating using an email ID option. Here you can see it says enter an email address to use as your Apple ID. Well, you can create a new Apple ID here or if you want to use your existing email IDs, you can do that as well. That is your existing Gmail or Yahoo IDs can be used here as well. But we want to create a new email ID with Apple. So we will tap on do not have an email address. Now it says do not have an email address. So get an iCloud mail address. Tap on get an iCloud email address. Now it is asking you to choose your email ID and your ID will be the name you choose at the rate icloud.com now try typing your preferred email id name here tap next now if you see an message like this that means the name or the id you are trying to use has already been taken so you have to choose an other options that you have now tap next okay so this id is available it says this email address will become your new apple id it cannot be changed later tap on create email address now it is asking to set up a password this will be the password of your new icloud.com account as well as your apple id remember your password must be at least eight characters long include a number an uppercase letter and a lowercase letter and your password should not include your name or your apple id now after doing so tap next now it is asking you to verify your device it says please enter a phone number that can be used to verify your identity via text message or a phone call it has already detected the sim card that is inside this phone we will be using the text message option here tap next i will receive a text message containing the apple id code then you will be redirected to the terms and conditions page tap agree tap agree again now you can see it say signing to icloud it will take a bit of time here now once it is complete you can see that you are being redirected to enter your iphone passcode this is the same passcode that you created during the setup of this device so you have to type in your iphone's passcode here remember this is not the password but the passcode of your device now after doing so as you can see it is asking for your permission to merge or do not merge your safari data and stocks data on the iphone with your existing or that means this present icloud account you can tap merge or if you do not want you can tap don't merge after that as you can see 
within that account section where we started from the iCloud account has been added this account contains your iCloud Drive your iCloud Mail your contact details and of course your Apple ID now let's go out of here and go to the App Store and try downloading some app here we go now at the top right corner on the screen you will see the account section tap on that and you will see that it has already detected your Apple ID but if you try to sign in or download something for the first time you have to sign in in the iTunes store once that is for the first time only now it says as we are signing in for the first time it says this Apple ID has not yet been used in this iTunes store tap review to sign in then review your account information we will tap review and here you have to agree to the terms and conditions then click next and at this page you can see we have at the beginning it says the payment method you will not be charged until you make a purchase so do not worry about that and as you can see we have the credit debit card net banking rupee card or upi option here but we will be selecting none then you have to type in your first name your surname which is already there for the billing then just type in your billing address you do not need to put all the details in the billing address you can see there are some options which are optional and some options are required you need to type in the options which are named as required only here now tap next now it says your apple id completed as you can see this is your name at the rate icloud account can now be used to access all apple services now let's go ahead and try to download any apps here as you can see it's now available to download so these are for the free apps you do not require any payment here but there are some apps in the app store which requires payments now how to buy those apps simply go to amazon and just search for apple id gift cards as you can see these are some amazon pay e-gift cards you will find some apple id e-gift cards just like this just buy the amount you need and then redeem that card on the app store directly so without sharing any payment details with apple we have now created a free apple id then we know how to download the free apps and there is a way to download the paid apps as well I hope this video is helpful to you guys. If it is, please share it with your friends and please don't forget to subscribe to TGT. I will see you in my next one. Peace.